Good morning, brethren. Today is August the 20th, 2017. I want to start by giving all glory to Father God, our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, and the Holy Spirit for wisdom. Indeed, those who seek her find treasure in her. Today, this message, this word, is certainly a word of knowledge, a beautiful revelation, a re revelation that has been given to others before me and Brother David with um, 22, Let There Be Light. This morning I'm going to go through how we were given this information, um, the short version of it. However, the time has come for me to share this openly with the church, the body of Christ. I'm going to go ahead and get started so that you understand how this began, this knowledge, this wisdom began, because we are not wise in our own eyes. We sought the Holy Spirit with all of our heart. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm, I'm very honored to be able to come forward and give this to the body of Christ. Please, with anything, always, always take everything that's heard on here and anywhere in the name of the Lord. Take it directly to Him. That has been the instruction from day one here. Take everything to the Lord. Do not rely on the flesh for answers, me included. Seek the Lord directly. He will confirm it with you. So it would be now six days ago that the Lord gave me words of knowledge that the books were opening mentioned in Daniel. Indeed, they are. You will understand shortly. Wisdom and knowledge are indeed increasing at a rapid rate. Late last year, the Lord had previously paired a brother in Christ and I to study the Word. And he received a word from the Father directly and the initial instruction to encourage me to read from Proverbs. Well, I took that to heart. When somebody tells me that Father has a message for me, I take it to heart and I take it directly to Him. So I did. And the initial instruction, again, was to encourage me to read from Proverbs and for us to study it thoroughly. For us. Because again, the Lord had paired us together and we knew this to be. When you know, you know, and you understand what I mean by those words. <clears throat> The Holy Spirit started to become clearly present during our studies beyond what expectations. We could not explain it. We were in awe. Every time we started to study, we would pray over the, mess, the study and we would just receive amazing insight, wisdom, direction, instruction. It was just so supernatural. It was just amazing. After reading from Proverbs, the both of us, David and I, um, so that we could understand it together. We were reading it together at times. Uh, in a previous word to the church, I was given firm understanding. In other words, uh, let me back up. I had shared a word of knowledge that the Holy Spirit had given us, a confirmed um, word from, from the Holy Spirit, and I had happened to mention it in a video. Well, you know when you get scolded, and I was scolded. And I was given understanding firmly in my spirit to not speak of this openly until I was given specific instruction to do so. Keep in mind, since we first started studying, I discovered that the Jewish Tanakh, okay, going back to the Lord's roots, I discovered that the Jewish Tanakh originally referenced the Holy Spirit as feminine. This gradually fell away from the traditional teachings. Please, again, do your due diligence. Never, ever, ever take my word for it or anybody else's. This is why the, the Bible says, the Lord says, seek knowledge. Okay? Seek knowledge and you shall find it. Where is knowledge? In the Holy Spirit. Last night I was in prayer and the Holy Spirit gave me a separate confirmation and reminded me of a vision that I had just had a couple days ago. Uh, the Lord had granted me a vision of a sister in Christ combing my hair, indicating now was the time for me to share this with the body of Christ openly. I was astonished to see this same sister last night give a word yesterday reading from John 1, the very sister I was shown 
combing my hair. That identifies this particular verse, John 1, it identifies clearly the Holy Spirit and her initial role beside our Father from the very beginning. So I'm going to leave that at that because I was given specific instructions and I don't really want to be scolded again. Um, again, you know when you're scolded. Uh, I have been given specific instruction to share only two chapters for today's reading. Okay, that was specific instruction by the Holy Spirit. And okay, so I'm just getting winded. Um, uh, hold on just one moment. I apologize, brethren. I just happened to uh, just receive in my spirit that my scarf was not on my head. Um, so I apologize to Father God for that because when I do these announcements, he wants my my scarf to be over my head. So again, uh, I want to repent for that. Okay, so um, let me just uh, start off uh, again where I left off. The two uh, chapters that I'm going to read from um, again, I was told to only share two chapters, uh, two readings. Uh, one is from the book of Proverbs and the other from the wisdom of Solomon from the Apocrypha. I was actually told specifically to mention this one from the wisdom of Solomon from the Apocrypha. So that was selected for me. I was able to select the one that I wanted in Proverbs, the one that I felt best described, um, the revelation of uh, the Holy Spirit being our mother. She is our comforter. That's a come when she comes to you, you feel comforted in her. Um, please remember a while back, the Lord had me announce that the Holy Spirit fire baptism would happen. The Holy Spirit would come upon us like n never before. It's happening. It's happening. And those of you who um, are in the Lord know this, you know that this is happening. Again, you, we must seek, we must seek the Lord with our whole heart um, okay, so let me, uh, let me get back to this. Um, this is a little intimidating to have to do this, quite frankly, but I received my last, uh, confirmation this morning through a sister in Christ, um, and, uh, another sister in Christ, and it was another, uh, firm reminder that I need to do this. So let's just put it that way. Um, very direct, uh, in the verbiage. And I didn't even go into the video. I didn't want to uh, change anything that the Holy Spirit had given me to speak today. Okay, so Brother David and I have often wondered when or how we would be given the go-ahead to present the church. Uh, David is a little bit more quiet, more reserved. And it, the Lord knew that um, once we did our study that I would, I would be told, obviously. He would instruct me what to do. So that's what's happened today. And that's why I'm coming forward to say that both both brother and I had received this. If it would, if it was not for Father God giving him the message, I would have never received this knowledge because I yes, I had read Proverbs before, but I had certainly never read the Book of Solomon. I had heard it, but I had never received the revelation of what I'm going to tell you here today. So thank you, brother David. I love you so much. Um, okay, so we are honored to share the very enlightening truth written in the Word, and you'll see here. Uh, very shortly. Please stay tuned to the entire video so that you hear this. Please hear carefully how the Holy Spirit is revealed in scriptures. Indeed, in order for the listener to comprehend this beautiful revelation, we must lend our ears to detail throughout the entire word as the last scriptures I read are the most revealing and shed light as to why Solomon held such wisdom. Man is not wise in his own eyes. We know this. In Proverbs chapter 4, King James Version, Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. Okay, this is the Lord speaking. He was only beautiful to his mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Stay tuned because it gets more in detail. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. 
and with all thy getting get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. If you have not caught on, knowledge and wisdom is through the Holy Spirit. She is wisdom. She is knowledge. She is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is the life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more and more into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from their, thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and perverse lips far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. This is the last reading that I'm going to do, and it is the most eye-opening. It is unbelievable. Again, indeed, the books are opening. Several of the servants on the wall have been given this confirmation as well. Knowledge and wisdom are increasing. The books are opening. In the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, from the Apocrypha readings, these are readings that were held from us for a reason, multiple reasons, vital reasons. Okay, so, I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man, and the pleasure that came with sleep. And when I was born, I drew in the common air, and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature, and the first voice which I uttered was crying all others to do, as all others do, I should say. I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that with cares, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Listen to that. For all men have one entrance into life, and the life going out. Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called upon God, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her before scepters and thrones, and esteemed riches nothing in comparison of her. To interject here and for clarity, this is King Solomon saying how he obtained wisdom. Because if you haven't heard about King Solomon, he was very um, knowledgeable. Well, he received that for a reason, because he sought the Holy Spirit with all his heart. He leaned not on his own, own understanding, but he sought her in everything. She is wisdom. She is knowledge. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone. In other words, he put her above everything and everybody in his life. Because all gold in respect of her is as little as sand, and silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above health and beauty, and chose to have her instead of light. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. All good things together came to me with her, and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoiced in them all, because wisdom goeth before them, and I knew not that she was the mother of them. Please hear this again. And I rejoiced in them all, because wisdom goeth before them, and I knew not that, that she was the mother of them. I learn diligently, and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches. 
for she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use become the friends of God, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. God hath granted me to speak as I would, and to conceive as it is meet for the things that are given me, because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom, and directeth the wise. For in his hand are both we and our words, all wisdom also, and knowledge of workmanship. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely to know how the world was made, and the operation of elements. The beginning, ending, and midst of times, the alterations of the turning of the sun, and the change of seasons the circuits of years, and the positions of stars, the natures of living creatures, and the furies of wild beasts, the violence of winds, and the reasoning of men, the diversities of plants, and the virtues of roots, and all such things are either secret or manifest them I know. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me, for in her is understanding, spirit holy, one only, manifold, subtle, li lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good quick, which cannot be leaded, ready to do good, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits, for wisdom is more moving than any motion, she passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of God, Listen to this again. For she is the breath of the power of God and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can be defiled thing fall into her. I'm going to interject here because people tend to um, twist the scriptures. God is our Father. If it has not made been clear here, Father God our bridegroom, our savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Holy Spirit indeed is our heavenly mother. She is our comforter. She is our wisdom. She is our knowledge. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of God and the image of goodness. And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And in all ages entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of God and prophets. For God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. For she is more beautiful than the sun, and above the order of the stars being compared with the light, she is found before it. For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. Now please keep in mind, um, one of the things that I've learned in my walk, um, because I knew that the Lord would guide me to others who had received this, um, I just received that knowing both brother David and I received that knowing that there would be others who had uh, received this message before. And I want to give, um, I, I want to give a, um, uh, I don't even know what the correct word is. I guess a love, uh, for a sister in Christ who was actually, when we were doing this study, she was literally, um, my mentor, of course, I don't follow the flesh, but she served as a confirmation constantly of what the Lord was showing us. The Lord would lead us to her uh, as confirmation. And uh, that is uh, Sister and Prophetess um, Elizabeth with Almighty Wind. Um, so I love you, Sister. Uh, I'm very, very honored to have received this word as well. So I thank you. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you, and I can't wait to meet you. Um, Okay, so I just want to um, also just remind everybody because it was actually Sister who received from Sister Elizabeth who received uh, the knowledge and really the logic, uh, the logic of, of course, Adam was formed in the image of God, um, but Eve certainly, um, it has been revealed, obviously, um, that Eve was formed in the image of Mother, and um, just as there is a family traditionally by the means of nowadays three of course, there would be a father, mother, and son in heaven. Three sit upon the throne, it is written. I pray to the Lord that this message receive your heart, that you do your due diligence, that you embrace it, and um, take everything to the Lord directly. I love you so very much. Please stay encouraged. We are almost going home. I love you.